Real Truth Daily. This is Daily Truths with Dave Alvin. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Daily Truths. Obviously, we're talking about end time theology. And in Matthew chapter 24, Jesus goes off on end time theology. As a matter of fact, we've already said this is the doctrinal seat, the primary position of what we believe about the second coming of Christ. And to pick it up in verse 36, this is what Jesus says concerning that day and hour, no one knows. Hmm. There have been a lot of people who try to predict the day and the hour that Jesus is coming back. I remember when I talked to my brother, who is a good Lutheran, but then uh, went off to the Pentecostal movement, and uh, and he was just entrenched in end time theology. And he told me, you know, Dave, um, we know basically when Christ is coming back, he's going to come back in 1985 or whatever it was back then. And I said, I quoted this first, I said, Al. The Bible says of that day and that hour knows no man. He said, I know the day and the hour we're not supposed to know, but we can know the month and the year. (laughs) What's Jesus saying in all this? He doesn't want us to know when he's coming back, right? Now listen to what it says here in verse 36. With concerning that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, nor the son, but the father only. At that time, listen to this, because Jesus was in the state of humiliation, which meant he had all the power of God within his possession as a human being, as both God and man, but he chose not always to use the power that he had as God. And so under the state of humiliation, he didn't know, he didn't try to use the power he had as God to predict when the end times are coming. Now he's in the state of exaltation. He's been raised from the dead and has sent it up into heaven. Does he know now? Well, yeah. <laughs> So here's the bottom line of our little devotion today. Why doesn't Jesus want us to know when he's coming back? Well, he always wants us to be prepared. And how do we prepare ourselves? We've talked a lot about it. We repent of our sin and put our trust in Jesus and live a life that honors him. And you might be saying, well, what if I sin? Well, we're going to sin, right? That's part of who we are. But we're trying to live a life that glorifies and honors and worships and obeys him, right? And so that's how we prepare. Repent of our sin, put our trust in Jesus, and live a life that honors him, right? Now, What if he did tell us when he was coming back, the exact day and the exact hour? Do you know what would happen? Christians, by and large, would become lazy. Hey, I know the day and the time, so I'm not going to really worry about missions and stuff until it gets closer to the day. Or some Christians would become rebellious. Well, I can do whatever I want, live however I want to, and since I know the day and the hour, you know, I'll repent of my sin and put my trust in Jesus at the last minute, right? Well, that's why, that's part of the reason Christ hasn't told us, right? He doesn't want us to become lazy. He doesn't want us to become rebellious. So the bottom line is, we don't know when Christ is going to come back. I can tell you a story about William Miller in 1843, who was a leader of the Adventist movement. And he said, looking at some passages in the Bible, that Christ was going to return on March 21st, 1843. They even had a countdown. Well, obviously he was wrong. He said he miscalculated. And he said, oh, it's going to be March 21st, 1844. Now, there's twice as many people who are prepared for the day, and obviously it didn't come. Why? Because Jesus doesn't want us to know the day and the hour. So, my friends, we don't know when it will be, but we do know it is going to happen, right? And when it happens, we'll lift up our eyes, we'll look at Christ descending on clouds of glory, and he will take us home to live with him forever. Until then... Continue to prepare your hearts because he may be coming, as we've talked about a lot, according to Matthew 24, he may be coming at any time, right? And I can't wait. And I've said that many times. I can't wait. I know you feel the same way. So that is today's Daily Truth. Have a great day in the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. Pastor Dave Allman is the pastor of Mount Hope Church in Boulder, Colorado. If this ministry is blessing you, please consider supporting us by sharing this channel with a friend. You can also like, comment, subscribe, or leave a review. This helps us tremendously. Come back tomorrow for your next daily truth.